Hi there and welcome to a series of YouTube videos dedicated to Autodesk Platform Services, APS in short. In these videos, we will talk about the basics of APS and tell you how you can build insightful dashboards, integrations, digital twin solutions, web configurators, and more with the help of Autodesk Platform Services. We will keep the videos short and concise, so about or less than 10 minutes. Whether you are a software developer or a business manager or a C-level executive, this series is for you. We will also continue publishing more content, so make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video if you find the content helpful, and leave us a comment. Do tell us how we can improve this series because we cannot get better without your honest input. Before we begin, my name is Julia and I'm a business development manager on developer advocacy and support team here at Autodesk. What our team does is we support customers, partners, system integrators, independent software vendors, universities who leverage Autodesk APIs, Autodesk technologies, and build their own solutions whether it's a plugin or an add-in or a web solution that they build with our cloud APIs. I will leave my Calendly page down in the description below. So if you have any questions about APS or the content of this video, feel free to reach out to me. Without further ado, let's start our series. Autodesk Platform Services is formally known as Autodesk Forge. So you might recognize the name or you might recognize the logo. Keep in mind that APS is the next evolution of Forge. We changed the name and the branding in 2021 and we keep enhancing the technology. The definition of Autodesk Platform Services is it is a set of web service APIs and services that allows you to access and use your design and engineering data in the cloud. The key thing to understand about Autodesk Platform Services is that it's not a ready-to-go product. It's a set of web service APIs that companies can use to build engineering web applications or extend the existing ones or integrate design and make tools with other enterprise applications. It is something a web developer uses and they build a solution that can benefit the whole enterprise. APS is based on industry standard tools, so if you are a web developer or you have one on your team, you or they probably already know everything to get started. Basic server development, HTML, CSS, JavaScript for front end, and REST API for the back end. For newer APIs, the knowledge of GraphQL will be necessary as well. You can see APS as a set of building blocks. You can put them together in many different ways, and the way you do that will boil down to the problems you're trying to solve in your business, workflows you want to automate, integrations you want to create, pain points you're having. So at the end of your project, you might create a dashboard or an integration or design automation solution or a digital twin or a combination of a few of those. I hope you got the idea. Autodesk Platform Services gives you industry standard tools that work great with design and make data, and you build solutions and take advantage of the power of the cloud. And do keep in mind, the more complicated of a solution you want to build, the more technologies you will implement in your application. APS will be just a part of your project you will probably use Lego blocks from other people. Some of them will be open source. A conversation about Autodesk Platform Services is very much a conversation about digital transformation. And the digital transformation at each company has several large components. One of those components is platforms you're building upon. You started implementing Office Software Package, ERP, enterprise resource planning, and CRM, customer relationship management systems, 
which all help you create that shared data environment, a single source of truth in a unified database for all the valuable data your company has. However, in our industry, key data tends to be siloed in CAD files. This data isn't easily shared with teams across the company. Some people don't have access to the software. Some teams might not understand CAD tools and thus cannot navigate through them. It can be accounting or factory floor or marketing or sales or any other teams. They often don't have access to the right data at the right time. Autodesk Platform Services is about unlocking that design and make data, breaking the file silos and getting the most value out of your design and make data by visualizing and sharing it across the enterprise. So here's a pretty common scenario. A customer has expensive software installed on their computers, and they also have design departments with employees who create CAD models every day. Those models contain precious information like structure, model properties, specifications, or cost estimates. This information is valuable not only for designers, but for other teams as well, like purchasing or planning or marketing or sales. Autodesk Platform Services helps you deliver the right data to the right people early and often in a very comprehensible way. One set of APS services takes 70 plus CAD formats and transforms it to the data that can be visualized and measured and counted. You can use APS to connect your design and make data across the enterprise. And again, we can talk about planning or scheduling or ERP, and maybe it's just all about simple viewing. APS liberates you from having a desktop product to view your models. We currently have more than 4,000 active applications powered by Autodesk Platform Services, and the numbers keep growing. Let's now see a live demo. Let's open a web page, choose a model. Let's see a Revit model of an office. I do not have to install any software, any plugins or applications to view this model in the browser. I just simply click on this link. This model is displayed in Autodesk Platform Services Viewer. An APS Viewer has its own basic functionality. So let's explore it. First of all, of course, you can look at the model from different sides, different angles, and come back to a home view. You can measure elements of the models. Let's see, I want to measure this door, or I want to measure certain angles. Apart from geometry, I also have access to model properties. I have access to model browser and I can highlight certain parts of the model or hide them. This is not an image. This is a very interactive application. And this is an example of a simple application for viewing your models in the browser. You can also play with different functionality of viewer, play with the code on our website in the viewer documentation section. You see this viewer again, you can go to full screen. It's the same functionality, but a different model. You have access to HTML, CSS, and JavaScript tab. So you can change the code and see how it affects the viewer on the right. And you can also choose a different model, for example, a spaceship. So without even creating an APS account, you can explore the opportunities that APS Viewer provides. This slide shows some of the APIs, in other words, APS components. For your reference, the demo I just showed you uses three APIs, data management, model derivative, and viewer. We have a separate video dedicated to a detailed API overview. Make sure to watch it if you're interested. 
For this introduction, I will just mention that if you are a software developer, you will need to read the documentation and get to know what's possible with these APIs. And our team, Developer Advocacy and Support, is here to support you and help you get started. If you have any questions about Autodesk Platform Services or something I mentioned in this video, be quick to drop us an email, aps.business at autodesk.com for business questions and aps.help at autodesk.com for technical support. You can also have a call with us. Go to Calendly, choose an expert and book a meeting with them. Depending on your question, you will either talk to our business development managers or software engineers. With that, thank you for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. We will continue publishing new videos about Autodesk Platform Services and Autodesk Developer Resources, so make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're interested to learn more. Take care.